Welcome back. The UN Security Council is set to vote on a draft resolution to impose an arms embargo on South Sudan and renew sanctions against it for another year. The U.S. says the resolution is essential to end the continuing violence in a five-year civil war. But China and Russia say the extension of punitive measures against South Sudan at this time could jeopardize moves towards peace between the warring sides. However, diplomats say the U.S. resolution is likely to be ad adopted. At the end of June, South Sudanese President Salva Kiir and opposition leader Rik Mashar signed a ceasefire which both sides have accused the other of violating. South Africa has launched a set of limited edition banknotes and gold coins to mark the 100th anniversary of the birth of Nelson Mandela on July 18. The South African Reserve Bank says the notes depict Mandela's life, including his upbringing in rural Eastern Cape as the son of a chief. His 27 years in jail and the end of apartheid in 1994 when he became president. Mr. Mandela died in 2013 at the age of 95. The launch forms part of events across the world, culminating locally in an annual Mandela Day lecture by former U.S. President Barack Obama next week. Nigeria's national football amputee team is preparing for the Amputee Football World Cup in Mexico this October. Captain of the Special Eagles, Emmanuel Ibeuchi, says the team is staying positive despite the poor performance of the country's Super Eagles at the World Cup tournament in Russia. Sixteen years after Emmanuel Ibeuchi lost one of his legs in a road accident, his dream of playing soccer in a World Cup tournament is about to become a reality. Ibeawuchi will captain Nigeria's team when the country makes its first appearance at the Amputee Football World Cup, taking place in Mexico in October. The team hopes to follow a tradition which has seen Nigeria's disabled athletes achieve success in the last few years. Amputee football in Nigeria, we are the best in the world. So, super ego or no super ego, football, one leg, two leg, football is football. So there is no difference between one leg and two leg when you come in terms of football because it's the same rules. The amputee tournament will be held just months after the World Cup in Russia. The squad, comprising of list players who traverse the pitch on crutches, have been training in the southwestern commercial capital of Lagos. Shortly after his moto accident in 2002, Hibauchi started playing football. He's now married with three sons and he takes them to the game so they can develop interest in the sport. According to the coach of the team, Victor Nwewe, football helps boost the confidence of the players. Most of them being that they, are, they see themselves as disabled, they believe they will depend on the society. But since they have the, you, you, we have put in them that they can, they, are, they, will see, they should see themselves as equally good as a normal, uh, you know, an, an enabled person. And they know they can, they can do that. So since then, all of them, they have the confidence now that they can even do better than the able body. The team known as the Super Eagles hope to outperform their counterparts short-lived appearance at the Russia World Cup, where they were eliminated in the group stages by Argentina in a heartbreaking 2-1 defeat. An Egyptian artist, Albert Megdi, can create portraits in just four minutes to the delight of audiences. Megdi says he prefers speed painting as this ensures that his audience do not get bored. Take a look. At super speed, 23-year-old Albert Magdi uses a pair of brushes to paint famous Arab and international celebrities, often performing for audiences live. His mission is not just to create a canvas, but also to amaze the audience in order to keep them attached to the work of his skillful hand. I started painting upside down since the first competition I participated in. The competition was based on the element of surprise and on speed, and I found out that a lot of people could paint quickly, and I thought I had to do something different and special, something that the judges and audience would think of as difficult, and this is why I decided that I had to draw upside down. The bigger the portrait, the less time it takes Maggie to paint it. 
The artist averages between three to four minutes on each painting, but the longest he's taken is just six minutes. Because I've been drawing upside down a lot, it's difficult for me now to draw right side up. When I get asked to work in homes or cafes by drawing on the right side up, it's very difficult for me. Sometimes I draw two drawings in one portrait at the same time. So the top part, I have to draw right side up and the bottom half, I draw upside down. And the top part is so much harder for me. Magdi has several styles, often using fire to set specific color tones on his canvas or splashing powder to highlight certain features of his work of art. Speed is very important, so my audiences do not get bored when I am drawing. At the same time, when you paint fast, one has to make sure that the features are not lost with the speed. And there's also the element of surprise from the audience, because when they see you, they are wowed and are drawn in even more. Magdi says he has been creating inverted paintings for several years, making it harder even for him to create art the traditional way. Ambassador Network Africa, thank you so much for watching and see me talk with Fagbimi. Bye for now.